It really depends on what it is. Um, you have the Great American Beer Festival, you know, which is uh, very legitimate. Uh, the thing to realize, of course, is that there are 78 categories in which you judge beer at the Great American Beer Festival. So if you are basically, you won the gold medal in kind of the watery American industrial beer category, then, well, I guess you won the gold medal in that category. You were the best watery industrial American beer in the United States. You know, and, you know, people can be proud of that, you know, but it's not, you know... Um, it's kind of like if you had a, you know, if you had a, a category for like the McDonald's style burger, you know, who makes the best of that type? Um, you know, do you want to win or you don't you? Well, the people who are doing it, sure they want to win. So, and then aside from that, though, you can make up, you know, the name of, you know, 50 different you know, uh, contests and whoever heard of them or whatever else. And, you know, you enter everything, I guess you can win some things, and you say, we won whatever, and yeah, who knows what that is. Uh, and that's one reason, like, we don't, you know, when we go out and we tell people about, like, who we are or whatever else, we've won a lot of medals at the Great American Beer Festival, the World Beer Cup, et cetera, but, you know, we don't talk about that stuff. <laughs> I mean, sure it's fun, you know, and, and, and we like it, but, you know, I think it kind of confuses the issue. I mean, what it really has to do with is, you know, is... You know, is the beer good? Does it taste good? Is it consistently? And are we, you know, giving you what we promised? And, uh, you know, I, I think that we are. You know, the uh, the shiny little things, you know, they're, they're great to get, but, you know, it's not really what we're about so much. Well, the best cure for a hangover is to avoid drinking too much. Especially you will find, uh, you know, you're not there yet, but the older you get, the scarier hangovers get, and the longer, you know, they stick around. So I try to avoid them at all costs. Um, uh, that said, you know, uh, you know if, if, if it does happen, I find that uh, the, the greasy bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich is, uh, you know, and, and, and a very good cup of coffee is about as, and as much water as possible is about as well as you're going to do. And, uh, you know, think... Uh, you know, think uh, strongly upon your sins thereafter, you know, and try to avoid it uh, next time around. I will tell you something that most people do not know, uh, which is that there are a few things worse in the world than going to work in a brewery with a hangover. So, like, if you ever think that you've had a hangover before, try, you know, try having a hangover and having to go to work in a brewery the next day, and I promise you, you know, you will, you will never do it again, or at least you'll do your best never to do it again. Well, of course, if you have a real hangover, you might not want to leave your house, which is a good reason to have, you know, some bacon, some eggs and cheese on hand at all times in case you have to make this yourself. But, uh, you know, there's a great little deli like a block and a half up from, uh, from me, and, uh, you know, it's been at least a year since I've had to use that particular service of theirs. But, uh, you know, by the time you get that, uh, uh, you know, in you in a nice big cup of coffee, unless you've done yourself horrible damage, you know, you're pretty well repaired.